The terrifying and bizarre events that happened to Jason and his daughter Jessica on the road to Greenfield Town are dragging them into this eerie adventure, leading them into an unknown world. As Jason and Jessica venture deeper into the depths of the forest, an unsettling silence envelops their surroundings. The birds cease their songs, the fog thickens, and the rain intensifies. However, fear is silently approaching with every step they take, relentlessly pursuing them. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Examinum the Silent Call. The name's Mad Max and I hope you enjoy the show. Why am I here? I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that, oh my god, what is that? Oh, oh, oh. What in the world? Oh god. We're... What is What does that say? Dude, what are we playing? Oh, oh. Okay. What in the hell? Do we have like a we have a bag over our head. Oh god. Surgery? Alright guys, I had to I had to turn the head bobbing off. It was it's making me nauseous. Oh god, dude, where are we at? This is not what I expected. I thought we were gonna be in a car on a dirt road. God. Oh no. Oh, I'm not going that way. I think I have to. I gotta get this bag off my head. Or mask or whatever the hell this is. This is keys. Take those. That looks redacted. Jason Mercer, dear authorities. This note contains important information regarding the patient Jason Mercer at St. Valentine's Hospital. Jason Mercer is a 37-year-old man who has recently been admitted to our hospital. He is undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal and medical history. Based on our observations at the hospital, we would like to highlight some important points about Jason Mercer. Jason is an extremely mysterious and introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. During his time at the hospital, Jason has been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally disassociating from reality. This raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. We do not have clear information about why and how Jason came to the hospital. He has not provided any explanation during our conversations with him. It is imperative that Jason Mercer's treatment and observation process be closely monitored. Additionally, strict adherence to hospital security protocols is essential. We request further investigation to obtain more information about Jason Mercer and his treatment. Sincerely, Nikolai Petrovich. Are we Jason? So are we just... Are we like hallucinating? Hope we're just hallucinating. Punishment cell. What? Oh. Oh. Oh no. So they freaking lobotomize people. It's all your fault. Oh my god. Nope. We freaking killed our wife and kids. Oh. 
Oh god, where do I go? What do I do from here? There's a door. What does that say? Ward number six. Dude, everything is so dark. What is that? We can't take that stuff. I really want to get this mask off. It's messing with me. A rosary. A cigarette still lit. I can see what people are thinking. Okay. Do I gotta go into that room? What's the matter with you? Toilet. Ah! What? Toilet. Key. Toilet. Key. Toilet. Key. Toilet key. Okay. Was there a bathroom? Oh no. From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day, until those strange phone calls arrived. At 10.30, the main phone rang with a call from the number 2120. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from a patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and a strange static noise could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time strange noises could be heard. I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the calls and report them to the security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently, and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed the security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such situations before. For the rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar phone calls still linger in my mind. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God! Where's the phone? Would it take me away? Ah! 2120? And... Oh. I don't know what just happened. Oh. oh god. That person's still sitting there. What do I do? I need a flashlight or something. Can I get some water? No. Toilet. It said toilet key. I don't even want to open this up. Oh. That's disgusting. I found a key. Oh, he's not there. Can we get out? Oh, we can't get out. What about right here? What does that say? It says exit. Let's go. Yes. Dude, what are we wearing and how do we get out of it? There's a door there. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am? Can you get this mask off of me, please? Ah! 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 Ma'am. I need the mask off. I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. 
And she said, this is your fault. Oh my god! <gasps> what is going on? Holy crap! We've been drinking too much. Okay. Debug mode. Find Jessica. Jessica? Jessica? That's her daughter, right? Jessica? Big ass bathroom. Jessica was changing clothes in the room we had plans for today. Okay, well, what is that? What in the hell is that? <gasps> Jessica! <gasps> take care of your daily needs. Wash your face, take a shower, use the restroom, have a snack. Jessica, make sure your freaking window. The little neighbor boys across the street again. Uh. Okay. Wash her face, right? Okay. Go to the bathroom. And we'll shower. I'll wash my face in the shower. We're not supposed to do that. Little freaking peeper. Is he still sitting there? Look at him. My phone ringing downstairs. Hello? Caller was Emily, Sarah's mother. Who the hell's Sarah? She was asking if we could come to the birthday party. We we're about to hit the road. Yeah. Eat my apple. I don't know what else we gotta do. Can we leave? This way. Oh, here's our car. Dang, look at this thing. It's like a mag light. Got our flipping Buick LeSabre. Running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shorter forest road. But a tree had blocked our path. Yeah? And how in the hell am I supposed to move this? What is that? Hello? What is that? Oh! <gasps> Jessica, stay in the car. Stay in the car. Oh, God. Oh, do I not have service? Couldn't we just turn the hell around and say, you know what? The party's not worth it. Jessica, I'll be right back. Why 
why why would we why would we even continue walking through the woods after seeing a cow with its stomach ripped open? Dude, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a house. I thought it was like one of those wooden bridges. <laughs> Hello? Uh, cool. Hello? Your, uh, your basement's unlocked. I just need some help with the tree. Kind of fell on the main road. Hello? Oh god, there's... Uh oh. Turn back on. Turn back on! This is the weirdest flashlight won't turn on. Hello? Hello? Sir? Ma'am? Oh god. In God we trust we will. Oh no. Oh, that's got to stop. What is this? <gasps> okay, yep. yep. Hello? I think we just found a Colt's house. Oh, what is, what is that? Okay, yep, it's time to go. Jessica? Oh God. It's time to go. It's time to get out of here. What's that? I just need a saw. Uh. Why did my flashlight have to quit working? Oh! Hello? Hello? Oh god. Okay, thank god. Oh god, thank you. Oh my god. Jessica, I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm coming. The moment we found that picture. The moment we... Jessica's not here. Oh my god. Where the hell is my daughter at? I will go freaking scorched earth on you mother... Holy crap, how long is this trail? 
Searching for Jessica, I found a house. Perhaps she could be here. Oh God, don't do this to me now. No, 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 no. Where's pizza? What is this? Today I got lost again. Those gray clouds are hovering above me, enveloping my soul. The medications, as if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind, but how effective they are I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind, it feels like it's getting heavier every day. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer, a mere figure existing on the edge of life. Even though I'm in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. My journal is a kind of internal scream. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing seems to alleviate this weight, if only a little. Yet even among these pages I feel lost. Maybe this loneliness could lead me to find someone. Perhaps in this place where I'm lost, I can find a glimmer of hope. A light, maybe. Jessica, just, just say something. Crap. Jessica, sweetheart. <gasps> uh. Oh no. Uh. Oh god. I got a key. Phone's not working. It's over here. Damn, yeah, my flashlight's still not working. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. God bless it. Jessica! I guess we're going upstairs. What's that noise? Huh. Huh. Okay. 
just gonna go back downstairs. Oh! Oh no! No 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 no! No no no! no it's okay. We're just freaking out. We're just stressed because we're trying to find our kid. Oh god! Turn its head. No, no, I quit. 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 Oh no. Where do I go? Where do I go? Upstairs. Uh oh. I can't. I can't go in here. There we go. Oh god! I turned the light on. Oh God. We gotta find a key. There was something in that room and I don't, I don't know what it was. It is Renata. It's not a light switch or anything. Examine the silent call. Again and again, yes. Oh! Give me that. I don't, I think that was a key. Ah! Ah! I'm just gonna go back upstairs. God! Do I? Is that something? Oh wait, that phone. What? What did that just say? <gasps> Jessica? 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I can't use that there. Jessica? Oh god, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Jessica! I really, I can't see anything. What does that say? Is that a seven? Oh no, that door is open. And there's something over here. That's a zero. What is happening? Jessica? Ah! Oh no. Oh no. No. 
No, 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 Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> oh, freaking flashlight still doesn't work. Oh. Dude, I gotta get out of here. Give me up, give me up, give me up, give me up, give me up. Oh, God. Oh, everything's gone. <gasps> oh, no. Oh god. Okay. We're back into the Oh no. What is that? <gasps> oh god. We got bolt cutters. I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggled to put on paper. The echoes of my daughter still intoxicate my soul, and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of gray, even if just a little. But life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. What I did was not intentional. Confronting the truth from time to time, reflecting on what I have done and what I couldn't do, feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe you can't understand. Perhaps no one will read these lines. But you should know that it wasn't my choices, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am a lost soul, but maybe one day, these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. What is going on? Okay, we got bolt cutters. That means we can... <gasps> King, safe house, Indiana. What what are we looking at? Oh my god, dude, I have no idea what's happening right now. Okay. What is oh do you see that? Okay. Maybe now we can maybe now we can get into that uh maybe now we can get into this lock thing. I mean surely bolt cutters, right? There we go. A one. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. Oh God, secret passages. And there's no light switch. What is that? B. E. Oh no. Oh, no, shut it. Oh. Nope. Nope. We done messed up. We done messed up. I don't wanna read that right now. What does this say? That day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the shattered glass, even remembering them pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still, and everything was dragged into a sudden dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day yet failing shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with love, and now it feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father. Every day I question why I've brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat alleviate the destruction within me. But right now, I feel like a lost, shattered soul. Oh my god, dude, what, what, I want to know what happened? What is this? 
That's a low a light. <gasps> Oh god. And we have this, whatever the crap this is. The shadows. My call. I can't even read that. I can't even read it. It got all blurry with the lighter. Oh no. Open. Sure. What is that? Puzzle. It looks heavy. Okay, I know the symbols. They have the numbers on it. Right? 1867. What is this? <gasps> God bless his stop with the noises! Oh, I see. There's feet. Just do it. <gasps> ah. Oh. It says five. Okay, five. Okay, five. Where's that note? I think I still have it, right? Okay, five. I think five's the last. Right? Oh, God, don't do it. Yes, five's the last number. I don't know what, what that what it goes to. And there wasn't anything in here, right? Oh, I don't. Let's see. That's twenty five. So one. I don't know where to go though. <gasps> no. 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 Stop it. Ugh. Okay. Go back to this. So, oh, there's a key. I didn't realize there's a key on the back of it. Yes. One ah! I had to go back and look. One seven zero five. Oh no. He said the puzzle looked heavy. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh god! <gasps> it crawled across the floor! Uh. Oh, there's crap in the batteries. this way before I walk in there okay what is that oh god <gasps> dude where are we what is <gasps> oh dude I don't mess with that stuff man upside down crosses and all that crap that stuff's evil Paint spray, auto parts, glue. Oh. No. What is all of this? Oh, there's the thing. I think. Let's read this first. My daughter, my little angel, was dependent on life support in her hospital bed, and facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. No, I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day the sounds of the machines tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me, 
alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her, but making that decision was deepening the cracks I had created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering, and maybe making this decision would be one final gift for her. Oh my God, dude, I could not imagine. I could not imagine that at all. No. <gasps> I'm gonna kill you. Oh God, nope, get away from that. Get away from that. Uh, one, seven, zero, five. Here we go. Oh no. Ah! Ah! What the F just happened? I always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. I'm here, and I'll be here forever. <gasps> oh, no. This was exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to in this way countless times, but I chose to surrender. I'm here now, all alone. Doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression. I'm taking my medication regularly. Now I am to heal. I didn't want to lose my daughter. Her cheerful laughter was the only light illuminating my world along with my wife's. My wife died because of me. Maybe if I had been more careful, both of them would be alive. I didn't want my daughter to endure the pain after the accident. While thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought the silent call book could be a hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us, and sometimes I see it. I surrendered eventually to avoid harming people. But I never wanted any of this to happen. Now I'll spend the rest of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me, and I'll take my medication. The diary makes me feel better, but I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I've decided to finish the diary, perhaps a new page. I hope I can find a way of salvation for my lost soul. Oh, there is a way for salvation, guys. Might not be popular amongst all of you, but it is Christ Jesus. I know I'm not the perfect person. I cuss on here all the time and say really stupid things, but that's the whole point of God's grace. Guys, that was dark, but perhaps probably the most real thing I've played in a long time. Anxiety, depression is, is so real, especially in the midst of a tragedy. I, I can't even imagine losing my wife or my girls, much less if it was something that was my fault. I don't know what I would do. I have no clue. I would turn to all kinds of things, I'm sure. I would. I know I would fall into a pit of darkness, and there at the end, I've probably revealed it, but guys, I know for some people it's not popular. They don't care to hear it, but I am a Christian. I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, hell, y'all <laughs> y'all have listened to me on this channel, and it's by His grace that I'm saved, and not of my own good works, although I can't boast. And that doesn't mean that I don't have my own issues or I, that I'm perfect, and I may lose some subscribers after saying that, but you don't have to believe what I believe. I still love you. Well, guys, I think I'm talking too much. If you like this kind of stuff, you know what to do. But for now, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.